Good day everybody, my name is Dean and welcome to the Adroit and Map Scada online training videos. The following video is the third in a series of guides designed to help you the user become more familiar with our products. Today I'll be walking you through the designer. We will also be creating an empty graphics project. For those of you not familiar with the Maps product, I recommend that you head on over to the Adroit website www.adroit.co.za. You can customize the look of your designer by selecting the view menu, clicking and dragging the view to a new location. We can then resize this view. Each view can be stacked on top of another one. By double clicking it will return to its docked position. Again double clicking will return the view to the area we dragged it to initially. We can also drag a view and then dock it to a different area within my designer. In this case to the top of the designer view. I can also dock or stack my views on top of one another. To remove a view from a stack I can click on the tab and drag the view back. Again by double clicking it will return that view to the same stack that I dropped it on. To reset my layout of my designer I select the view ribbon and then click on the reset to default layout. This will return my designer to its original state. One of the most important views within the designer is the enterprise manager. The enterprise manager is broken up into three areas. Data sources, which contain my adroit data source event viewer, my management area, which contains my security and my system parameters. It also contains the graphical projects area. We are now going to create a new graphical project. To do this, I select the home ribbon and then click on new project. It will now prompt me for a name. I will type in my project, my plant. I click the finish button and I have a new graphical project inside my enterprise manager. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, I will be showing you how to create a graphical display. I hope you have found this helpful and I hope to hear from you in the comments section.